Well, hi there. Um, an important question has uh, dawned on me. I've been thinking about a lot of things, actually. Uh, and it's what is the future really going to be hold for me? Like, what, where can I expect to be in my life in a few years' time? Um, well, there's a lot going on. Um, there's still the mental health goons. Um, they're very much like a coyote, you know, hanging around a rabbit hole. They're going to keep coming back and coming back, uh, until they get what they want. Or I make them go away. Uh, it's as simple as that. I, I, don't, I don't see them. They're not in my face or anything like that. But that doesn't mean they're not around. Uh, they like to be non-intrusive. They like to go, oh, well, we've moved on, blah, blah, blah. You just, and the, you know, yada, yada, yada. And it's supposed to lull me into a sense of, well, you know, now things can start to normalize. They are starting to normalize, but the thing is, I still have to take medication. Not psychiatric medication. Basically, this medication keeps my body from falling apart uh, physically. Um, Tecta, still take that, and, you know, a, a few other ones, um, and the thing is, to me, what are they? They're a little fucking pill, and I don't even know what the fuck's in it. Could be anything in it. And my sore throat's not gone away. I do believe that they have a medication that could make my sore go throat go away like that. Because it'd be worth money in case, you know, they were testing this sort of experiment on somebody who had money. who, Or, you know, in a legal case where they lost, they would need it, um, you know, to, to quickly, uh, you know, just... It, it, it's there's, there's a profit motive for them to have uh, a proper medication to fix the problem they gave me because they were hoping with negative reinforcement that I wouldn't drink anymore. Well, I'm drinking out of spite now, so that didn't work. And I've already caught uh, my doctors lying about the dumbest of things that, you know, I, I don't put it past them to lie about anything. And, you know, um, everyone is very, very tight-lipped around me. Nobody will say fucking a word about anything. Something's got them scared shitless, and I don't know what it is, uh, but... Uh, you know, I wouldn't be healthy for me to think about that, so I don't entirely. But, uh, you know, I am pissed off about things. Obviously, it's going to show. Uh, that wouldn't be normal if it didn't. Um, and what might sound crazy to some people actually makes perfect sense. Um, the thing is... There's this monotone, fucking vague message that I'm hearing, um, not just on social media, but pretty much everywhere else I go. And for a weaker mind, that will brainwash them over time. Me, it doesn't work. Uh, I know that my shit's being monitored on uh, my, my internet activity is being monitored. Of course it is. Oh, everybody's is, but mine specifically. Uh, I think more so than other people. Uh, I have uh, some pieces of evidence to uh, support this. And the thing is, there ain't nothing to find on my internet. Go ahead, have a look. There's nothing there. Um, you know, I'm one of these people, I... You know, uh, I, I may listen to songs multiple times. Uh, you know, right now I'm really into this uh, Ku Klux song, Klan, Ku Klux Klan song. Uh, you know, it's just it's catchy, uh, and you know, I don't really see any harm in that. Um, but you know, from some egghead on the other side of the internet, they're gonna go, "Oh, he's got repetitive." Uh, blah, 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 blah. He's doing the same thing over and over again. This is a mental disorder. I already thought about what that little creep would be thinking. So, you know what? I, I wanted to say, you're telling me nothing? I'm going to tell you nothing. 
you're giving me a vague, stupid message over and over again, I'll do the same right back. Except mine will have a few sharp prickly points that uh, will irritate you. Like, for example, when I talk about how Asia is, you know, like, only a fucking moron would go there. Uh, but, you know, that's one topic. And then, you know, I have other conspiracy theories that, you know, obviously they're on my YouTube channel that piss people off. Uh, you know, actually having an opinion, and you don't even have to be wrong, can make people mad. And sometimes when people get mad, instead of just going, well, I'll go about my business, whatever, uh, I don't want to think about it, which is normally what I do. They prefer to go, well, how can I get him? And it seems to be the Canadian mentality that it's turn around and go talk a bunch of shit to that, about that person to everybody else and then make sure that they, they can't tell that person. Uh, I don't know how the social mechanics of that works, but that's what happened to me. And, um, you know, people just, they, they believe authority figures, right, then and there, because mostly because they're inclined to, uh, you know, uh, and other factors. But uh, a lot of the times they're fucking lying, you know, just to get what they want. And, uh, you know, there is corruption out there. I, I can so cite many sources of corruption in in society, especially in Canada. Canada, fuck, it's a B minus country. It's not an A country, like I said before on my social media. I forget if it was on Facebook or on YouTube, but it is not an A country. It's not first, it's second for sure. Um, I'm sure I'm sure that there's got to be a better country out there somewhere. I don't know, I can't think of offhand what it would be, but anyway, uh, so I'd like to think that this sore throat will go away, but unfortunately, my doctor, general practitioner, doctors, I have more than one, practitioners, they seem to still be treating it like a psychiatric problem. And every time I contradict them, they usually uh, will say, oh, well, we've gone back uh, a few steps and we're where we are uh, say last year or whatever and it's like the problem is not that they can't fix my sore throat that's not the problem the problem is they don't want to that's the problem and you know um, my medication is paid for but the thing is after I'm done taking my medication uh, this is non-psychiatric medication I'm talking about, obviously. I don't take psychiatric medication anymore. Um, I'm going to say, fuck you to the people who uh, pay for my medication. Fuck you. It's a double-edged sword. Uh, you, you get a medication, you go, well, this is what I need, and uh, not paying for it, so it's all great. But uh, nobody does nothing for nothing. Uh, it, it comes with, you know, it comes with bad shit, and that is most evident when it came with me, and the people who are paying for my shit, as soon as I don't need you anymore, fuck you, fuck you and your medicine, and, uh, I, yeah, I don't have a problem with that, uh, one day I will be taking no medication at all, and I don't believe I'll have any mental health problems, um, however, um, there are other people who uh, don't want to believe that if, uh, if you know, they uh, felt inclined to have an opinion on the matter. Um, because it's, um, you know, it's a, it's a crap world out there, it really is. And I am really ticked off about it. And I cannot believe the level of seriousness, OCD, and how not a single person breaks character. Never breaks character. And it's gotten to the point where it's so damn suspicious that like, uh, they didn't give me a lobotomy, you know, I am capable of thinking. Um, and, you know, I'm never around anyone too long. 
So it's hard for me to, um, you know, really get a good conversation. You know, I've, I've had, you know, um, uh, friends who I've, I've had conversations with over the years, obviously, I've known them a long time, some of them. And, um, you know, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's different uh, when you're, you know, those kinds of people, you know, well, and, uh, you know, it would be nice. Uh, there were no women, though. Uh, it's not a gay thing. There just wasn't any women around. Um, and, uh, yeah, well, that's, you know, one of the things that's, uh, you know, not cool is that there's no women around. Uh, and, uh, the ones I've met before, I, I know they are, right time, right place kind of thing, uh, and you know, some, some, some of them were, uh, you know, uh, of more recent years, obviously, uh, and uh, there's been no sexual activity, no, there hasn't been, but uh, I am going to be very, very suspicious of the next chick that comes around. Um, I'm not going to think it's a coincidence that they showed up no matter where or in what form, um, uh, I'm ongoing, this person knew who I was and they'll deny it. I suspect and it'll, it'll be, you know, a relationship based on lies, a tissue of lies. And that's not a healthy way to start a relationship. I mean, obviously I'm going to have to play ball or I'm never going to get to touch a chick, but, uh. Um, that's going along with the whole involuntary celibate thing. Um, uh, but there are a lot of factors. Um, women are actually quite vicious. They can be quite vicious when they like a guy. And other men, when they see that, I don't blame them for going, oh, I don't like that guy because look what these other women, they're, they're getting angry and they're fighting each other over and to say, and to be that guy, um, tooting your own horn, essentially, that makes those guys not like you even more. And it's like, hey, 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 I don't want any of that bullshit either. I didn't ask for it. Uh, so, you know, from my perspective, uh, you know, there could be women out there, 10 out of 10, perfect looks, uh, pleasant seemingly pleasant personality uh and you know got things going for them they're intelligent and all this it's difficult to say you know because people go oh well he's, he's some sort of he's some sort of a homo or something but you do actually have to say no to them because it's about power you can't let them have all the power or even most of it if you're in the wrong social circumstances, uh, the, the wrong social setting, like I am, I am in the wrong social uh, settings. There are people who are controlling how things are around me who do not have my best interests in mind, and they don't have a problem putting me through the, uh, the ringer. And, you know, that is very contradictory to what I want. I'm not one of these people who, you know, uh, wants to have the power in a relationship. Um, I, I'm not about that, you know, it's equal exchange of ideas, you know, uh, and that kind of stuff, but, uh, I am not, I am not being told what women to go with, when to go with them, how long to go with indirectly or directly by anybody. If I don't like a bitch for any fucking reason, I'm not going with them. And that's difficult to say for an involuntary celibate because uh, a lot of them, are, they, they'll crawl to women. And once they finally get a woman, then they turn into a puddle of mush. And it's like, well, that's not going to happen either. Um, no, no, not crawling to a woman. Uh, that's not what's happening. And, uh, you know, you kind of want to, you know, to have a chick around and it be pleasant and be nice and you know we'll see where it goes from there but there will be other women who will want to stir up shit because they're still jealous and um you know 
for me, I haven't even met most of these people yet. I know they're there, and I can all I can do is uh, hypothesize on what could be going on. And you know, I don't have a lot of details, but I, I I sit here and I think, well, how could my life be structured in such a way, uh, and for it to make any sense? Because I'm I'm trying to make sense of this issue, and um, it's not easy to do. It's really, really not easy to do. And uh, again, the level of OCD. And, you know, because of my physical limitations, uh, you know, being uh, constantly tired, throat hurts. Uh, I know people don't like me out there. Uh, I might run into one of them at some point. Probably will. 100% will, probably. Um I, I'm not in physical shape to really be going anywhere. So I'm pretty much trapped at home. Um, yeah, so uh, it's very easy to control what somebody could know or see if you know their very simple day-to-day -day lives, which is, for me, it's work. Uh, go home. Have a few drinks. Cause I like my drinks that that's uh, you know fuck you in your program kind of stuff um, and uh, you know it's not hard to control the social uh, standings that I have and I'm getting the distinct impression that what the consensus is involving me is that it's either one of two things. Uh, they want me to be one of those man whores who, you know, will go at anything. No. I can say no to people, trust me. Uh, I don't... Uh, uh, it's not something I'm concerned about. And the other one, which is could be, you know, as bad, is that I get stuck with one chick uh, shows up all of a sudden and... She doesn't, like, give me my space. Uh, she might have, you know, um, <laughs> a history that I wouldn't want to hear about. Um, and, you know, uh, that's not fair. Uh, you know, you have to go, well, they live their lives, yada, yada, yada. But, like, the thing is, uh, with mental health, um, a way of... Uh, watering down someone's distinct hatred for them because oh don't get me wrong I hate mental health I hate the system and I will always hate it nobody's gonna change my mind on that not unless they give me a lobotomy and I can't think no more <laughs> I don't want that um, a way of uh, watering that down is if a chick came around from that uh, system. Because then uh, bad memories get replaced with good memories and the bad memories get watered down and the bad guys who were responsible for those bad memories kind of uh, get away with it. And it's like, I'm sorry, asshole. I know too much about you and I don't like you. And I'm suspicious. I'm suspicious of a lot of things. And, um, you know, um, I'm not even that bothered in some senses. Like, I don't care if a chick, you know, uh, you know, uh, is coming from mental health and essentially, you know, uh, trying to uh, sweep up a bad situation and, you know, um, really uh, start. Uh, trying to change my thought process and it's like that's fine we can play that game that, that's all right um because everything has value <laughs> look at it that way you don't want to go around using people of course but uh everything has value and uh You know, uh, some people go, well, if you know that this person works for this system and, you know, may possibly 
have been somewhat responsible for your ill treatment. Not that any of the ones I've seen, I think that about. I, I don't think that. I think they're, you know, the kind of the randoms, right time, right place sort of thing. Uh, so I, I don't really think that, but I don't really know. But I don't really think that. Um, and it's like, uh, yeah, that's, uh, it, it's a piss off. There's, there's no way that no rational human being would not be, you know, a little bit ticked off about that. Uh, it was a rough ride for me in mental health, very rough. And, you know, um, so, well, some people will go, well, you know, he, he drinks alcohol, he's quick to anger, he's this, that, and the other. Uh, I actually just uh, shouted at a bureaucrat on the phone um, while I'd been drinking. You know, I was just extremely rude, which is, uh, you know, like, fuck you kind of attitude. And um, I knew nothing would come of it. I knew that, but I kept my eyes open when I was walking around, going to, you know, going to work, doing my thing, and I was followed. I was. Uh, I saw a couple of undercovers. I saw them. Uh, and, you know, I'm actually quite familiarized with how they, they operate, how they look, how they talk, and how they move, and uh, one of them uh you know she harmless i don't think uh, don't think she was any kind of enforcement of any kind um uh, she tried you know doing the good samaritan thing uh someone had dropped their wallet um in the seat in front and of course she's looking and she sees it and it's you know picturesque and i'm supposed to go oh what a kind samaritan that's very, very nice and respectable of you. How commendable. Because she picked it up and handed it over to the bus driver and went, I, I, I don't know who this is. Um, can you uh, please do something with it, essentially? And I was like, went, well, that makes everything the bureaucrats do all better now, doesn't it? But that's, that's sarcasm. Uh, uh, I don't consider the little friendly things they do to be good when if most of their personality is not good. I mean, that's different from person to person. You know, you got to take things into perspective. But um, that was one of those people that was not a random. That was a plant. And, um, you know... I, I made it a point not to look at her, like, uh, at all. Like, uh, I didn't even care that uh, that she sat next to me. Uh, like, I, you know, had I been drinking, I might have said something. And, you know, that's something i got to be conscientious about because, unfortunately, these medications I have taken over the years have damaged my ability to consume alcohol properly in the sense of my body being able to handle it. I used to be able to handle alcohol a lot better. Uh, I used to be way more in control of, um, well, there was actually a time period where I, you know, when I drink as a younger person, I'd black out and things like that, which was not good. Uh, obviously I had to train myself years and years and it feels like I've taken a few steps back and, you know, that's kind of what they want. And, um, you know, um. I don't know. I, I suppose people are worried that I might go do something stupid if I, um, you know, consume too much alcohol. Therefore, the justification for making it uncomfortable for me to drink alcohol, rather than explaining anything. I mean, what the fuck? What kind of stupid fucking world do we live in? I know what one we live in. We live in one where we're fucking spied on, and there are people watchers out there, and. The thing about people watchers is they don't want people to know who the people watchers are. So you get the anonymous figure on the computer screen and everyone going, 
Oh, yeah, yeah, we got our rights protected. No, you don't know anything about that cocksucker. Um, they have their rights protected, and you do not. I don't like the anonymous character at all, and anyone who does is a fucking idiot. Uh, I mean, nobody, uh, is anonymous in this world, including the anonymous characters. The anonymous characters that the Joe Everyday six-pack guy sees on the internet are there to get you in trouble. That's all they do. And um, they crawl away like cockroaches in the system. And, um, you know, they are quite spooky because, uh, you know, when they're specifically targeting an individual, uh, such as myself, I don't know how many other people like me there are out there. I actually don't think there are that many. I don't think there are. Um, but I don't know. But, uh, like, I, I made a post on one of the forums I'm on. People don't say much, and, you know, it's the same shit over and over again. You do get the feeling it's like a robot that you're talking to, but there, I do detect a human element about it. Anyway, but I, I posted about how you gotta say no to women, and, you know, that was essentially it, you know, like, there are gonna be chicks out there that, you know, they may not have anything wrong with them, but you have to say no to them to make a point, to set a precedence, and things like that, and I know that was fingernails on a chalkboard for those guys, and, um, uh, yeah, well, one individual started posting, uh, they weren't violent images, but they were saying violent things. I'm not going to repeat them. I don't even remember them, really. I, I merely commented on what, there's, what they were saying. And that was a bureaucratic fucking going nuts. That's what it was. They were displaying that they were angry. And part of that, was, it's a multifaceted thing, is that they wanted to normalize that kind of conversation they wanted to almost invite me into speaking that way and i don't i have no idea what they think uh remember they're anonymous who knows um and i'm like no i don't like how you talk and i probably wouldn't like how you think and i called them a liar i straight up did and uh, eventually this person started backtracking, but it's just a merry-go-round. Merry it's, you know, a rotation of assholes. It's probably the same bunch of assholes every time, except what they do is they, they, they create a profile, and then they'll create another one and another one, and each one they'll deny adamantly that they have any association with anyone. They'll deny they've had a conversation with you before. I me, it does start to look like a blur after a while, especially when you think of it that way. Um, every now and then on the forums, there'll be one with a chick, for example, on, um, on the forum. And, you know, that's not a real girlfriend. Not at all. <laughs> um... Yeah, this profile was fake, uh, no doubt about it, and, you know, it'll be buzzing around for a while, and then it'll dissipate, and, you know, the thing is, this merry-go-round of bullshit, uh, there's no end in sight, and to me, I'm a statistic to these bastards, and, um, you know, the thing about psychiatry is that it takes the input of people from all over the world. Uh, and a lot of people all over the world are assholes, especially if they're psychiatrists. And they have differing opinions. So, you know, especially in this day of YouTube and social media and all that, um, they will bring in psychiatrists, you know, via, you know, you know, YouTube or whatever to observe 
And they'll be from places like Japan, Hong Kong, probably Russia, uh, European countries, uh, South American countries. Who the fuck knows? I don't fucking know. Uh, but I do know that a lot of those places, they openly say, no, fuck over this white guy, blah, blah, blah. They are straight up racist. And you get Justin Trudeau pretending racism doesn't exist anymore and blah, 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 blah. He is a fucking liar. The people in power, they are so fucking racist. And they're, discri they're discriminatory in other ways, too. So there are a lot of things. And they're assholes. Assholes everywhere. Um, and you know, that kind of stuff is spooky. I don't want some nip deciding what uh, is going on in my treatment plan when they don't have my best interest in mind. Because they're always thinking of the other people, right? They use that as an excuse. They go, whoa, look, he, he posted a song about the Ku Klux Klan. He, let's throw everything bad that's ever happened with that, even though Ryan doesn't know what that stuff is, and associate it with him. And it's like, no, you're kind of doing that because uh, you're looking for an excuse to beat me up some more with medication. Uh... Yeah, I mean, you do have to look on the lighter side. Me having this approach and, you know, it's still a rudimentary knowledge of what others might be thinking. Uh, it's still leading me down the right path, I believe, to understanding the situation and, you know, um, really making the best out of things. And seeing the lighter side of things. And, you know, if there's a chance that um, you can thwart some people who are assholes, then, you know, you, you take your victories where you can get them. Uh, I'm just done with people who, uh, when they're angry, they start hurling vicious insults not meant to hurt me mentally, although there are a lot of things they could say which I would not enjoy. Um, but more to shape what people think of me rather than finding out for themselves once they get to know me. Um, you know, it's a very complex subject. And it would be nice if I had other people to talk to who, you know, weren't fucking assholes. But I don't have other people to talk to who are not assholes because there's only two types of people. There's assholes that uh, have a very vague, stupid message. And they're the people who just don't want to get involved. And I don't blame them for not wanting to get involved. But you're part of the damn problem if you don't get involved. So I'm going to make you talk. I'll, I'll, I'll find out a way to make you talk. I mean, uh... Whether that's tell hilarious jokes or, um, you know, uh, say something in a deceptive manner or whatever. Some way of making you talk, I will do it. Uh, because I have to. Because if I don't, man, like, seriously, that is what I said earlier about, you know, a chick coming around. And, you know, what if she has, like, a fucking big bag of bullshit and I never hear about it until... Really, the claws are in, and, you know, it's like I have to deal with it, and the truth slowly trickles out, and it's like, uh, no, no, that's not happening. Uh, I am not losing. I am not a loser, and, um, yeah, uh, so... Yeah, this is, you know, thinking in the future years how things are going to be, uh, I do see a good light. I see things going my way. Um, because, um, you know, a lot of people who went through mental health, especially as aggressive a treatment plan as I went through, cannot say the same thing. Uh, their lives are ruined. They're done.
and uh, you know, uh, some of them I suppose deserved it, but there are others that won't have, but simply did not have the resources or brain power to figure a way out of it. And um, I do have those resources, and I do have that brain power. So uh, I'm not quite out of the situation yet, but I'm I'm a lot further along than I was before, and I did it my way, not their way, my way. My way is better than their way. Um, yeah, because I do got to say something about the, the whole chick situation. There's going to be a few of them, right? No ugly chicks. Okay? I don't care how nice they are. I don't care what they might have done or anything. Uh, I don't care if they've been helpful or not. I don't care if they can cry their eyes out or whatever because I'm such a handsome guy. I don't care about any of that. No ugly chicks. Uh, I shouldn't have to say this in this goddamn day and age, but I do. And it's because of feminists. I don't have a problem with women, you know, having a significant say in, you know, what goes on in the world and things like that. But, you know, when they become all, you know, all the bad things that are associated with them, then obviously, you know, I don't like that. How could you like that? And for those guys who go along with it because they go, well, that bad stuff didn't happen to me. So therefore, it's like, uh, you know, they're doing the right thing, yada, yada, yada. Uh, perhaps they need a taste of what, how bad feminism is, because that's a big part of the reason I don't score chicks, it's because of feminism. So, uh, that whole concept, I don't give a damn about. I do care about, you know, injustice and things like that. I care about, um, things that, um, that go wrong, uh, but I'm not specifically going... I'm only here for women's rights and feminism and all that sort of stuff, because that's sort of the thing a douchebag would do. Uh, you know, you do things as, as you see it periodically, you know. There's all kinds of problems in the world, so, I mean, you don't have to focus on just one. But, um, uh, really complicated, confusing sort of thing. And it's way fucking harder to explain this when you're not actually engaging in conversation and like meaningful conversation too. Because it'll be like that doll in uh, elementary. And it's a show with Johnny Lee Miller where he plays a modern day Sherlock that has artificial intelligence and it only has, you know, X amount of responses. That's what it feels like with me talking on social media. Is that I'm talking to an insane artificial intelligence. Uh, I more think of it as an abysmal intelligence. Because uh, there are times where it's an automated message, obviously. But there are times where it's not. And I can tell the difference. But they like to pump up the artificial intelligence argument. Because they want people to be scared. They want people to go, oh no. There's a computer, essentially like a computer that has a soul, and it's going to fight humanity at some point, and because everything's Wi-Fi, if someone tries to contain it, it's going to spread to other computers and start over again. It's like, in theory, that could happen, but it's not going to turn into a T-1000. If... The computer's memory is able to change from computer to computer. It's still the hard, the hardware. It can't, you know, it's not like Transformers, the movie where it can turn into a, like a little robot. It, it's not going to happen. Never going to happen. Uh, anyway, that's getting off topic. A little bit anyway. Um... Yeah, I figured it would have been about time I did a lengthy video to explain some of the bullshit. I know it's all going to be good, but, you know, it's taking a lot fucking longer than I would have liked it to. I'm trying to think of a way to, you know, hurry the fuck up. Um, but people don't listen. That's the fucking problem. They don't want to listen. 
because it's easier for them not to. And uh, that, unfortunately, is not good enough for me. It's not going to work. Um, and uh, these things inhibiting my ability to learn or better my situation are really, really pissing me off. And people go, oh, go to school. No, fuck you. I hated school. School doesn't teach you things. It programs you. And it conditions you to think a certain way. I don't want to be conditioned. I have a free mind. I think for myself. And besides, with the fucking internet and the, what it, the message it's been trying to teach me, it's like, fuck you. Fuck you and your schools. I'm not going to school. School's a waste of time. Uh, what a fucking disgusting world we live in. And you can't avoid it, too. This is Everything's disgusting about it. Uh, I mean, it is for everybody, but, it, you know. Ugh, so fucking irritating. Um, you know, so, yeah, getting back to the chick situation, because that would be nice having those around. Um... I'm the one making the decisions about it, not some other asshole. That's not what's happening, because that would not be good for me. Like I, like I can't believe the certain problems I have to deal with, and you know, I've tried making my campaign speeches on on social media and things like that, and how I want to portray myself. Um, and it's like, I don't know, uh, is people who think like me and my mentality, are we really in that big of trouble or what? Um, because uh, things aren't moving fast enough. And, uh, you know, uh, kind of want to have a normal life, things like that. But I, um, it'd be a truly horrifying nightmare if, uh, uh, if a woman came around and she was a woman from hell. I, I would not like that. Um, there was one YouTuber, uh, and this was kind of spooky. Uh, I don't. I'd never heard of his channel before. I, he was on some top five list or something like that, or top ten list, something like that. Anyway, uh, he played first person shooters, mostly Call of Duty and things like that. I played a little bit of them, but you know, I wasn't that big into them. Uh, anyway, he did, and he did a lot of video, uh, audio casts of him, you know, as he was playing the game and things like that, and I guess he was alright, but at a certain point, uh, his channel stopped, and I think they shut it down altogether, I don't even remember his name, so I couldn't even check, but, uh, the last video image is of a woman with a dog, so obviously she was a canine unit, and um, that was it. And that would be the kind of chick that you wouldn't want to go with. First thing, she probably has, like, you know, one of those, It's I can't think of what it would be called, but it's like a bicycle wheel with a boot on it. So, like, it just, like, spins around in a circle, booting you in the balls over and over and over again. And it's like, ugh, I don't want that. And it's like, I don't want something that thinks it can train me. That's why I don't like dog owners, uh, for the whole, most part. It's because they want to control the animal. I mean, obviously, you can give gentle guidance and, you know, that sort of thing. But I don't like it when people have their dogs trained to command. Like, they do, the dog doesn't think for itself. It does exactly what it's told to do. And I think that's a bit abusive, actually. I mean, obviously, you don't want your dog taking a shit on the carpet, but, uh, you know, I, I prefer cats. I, you know, I like cats, uh, you know, wandering around doing cat things, and, you know, um, they're, you know, free to, you know, go outside on their own, and, you know, uh, you don't have to worry about them too much, because they can take care of themselves, and, you know, because the thing about dog and cat mentality is that they're actually quite a lot like people, in a way. Uh, like, uh, I mean, they're my furry friends, um, and that doesn't mean what some 
gook hente watcher would think. Um, um, yeah, but what I'm saying here is that people who have, you know, dog mentality uh, are, in fact, the dumber of people, I think. Um, I mean, not that cat type philosophy doesn't, um, like, essentially, Catwoman from Batman, we'll say that, for example. She could do some things that are probably kind of bitchy, but, uh, it's still, you know, uh, I still prefer that kind of thinking. Um, I mean, whatever. You know, I just, I, I don't like the idea of being told what to do. I, I really never liked that. And I don't like being told what to do indirectly, too. I notice, I know the difference. Oh, it's all a big, very confusing mess. Uh, yeah. Trying to think of other things that are important that are involving the subject because, I, I, you know, I don't, I'm not really interested in this subject, to be honest with you. Uh, it, it, it's a lame-ass subject. Involuntary celibate? That's a fucking lame-ass subject. Uh, for the most part. I mean, I'm not a lame-ass. I do have to live that lifestyle, but I do not like the topic. It is not interesting to me. Certainly not fun. And, uh, you know, um, there's some people who deserve to be involuntary celibates, okay? I do not believe that I deserve to be an involuntary celibate. Um, uh, I understand a little bit why I am one. But I don't deserve to be one. There are people out there that do deserve to be them. Okay, fine. Uh, and I'm not going to defend them. If they're the kind of cunts they are, then they're cunts. It doesn't matter. However, the people that acclimatize around those people are assholes onto themselves. They are also part of the problem. And um, this vicious cycle of, I don't know what it is, but uh, it really, you know, is unnecessary, sadistic, and fucked up. Because there are people out there who are actually more evil than the involuntary celibate, but because of their social standings, where they are, how much money they make usually, and all that kind of shit, they get away with it. And nothing bad happens to them. At least not yet, anyway. Um, and it's like, what the fuck? What, all in the name of scientific research? Well, fuck you. Oh, I gotta admit, uh, when I get my laughs, they're pretty funny. Like, um, yeah, again. Getting back to when I was trash talking that uh, bureaucrat on the phone, I knew it would provoke a response, but it didn't have quite enough to uh, do anything. But they were letting their presence be known, and um, you know, fingernails on a chalkboard, uh, and um, I don't know. Uh, to some people, they go, oh, that he's close to a relapse, blah, blah, we'll have the pretext to go grab him again afterwards, and it's like, I was playing you, fool. <laughs> I'm not fucking gonna have a relapse. There's no such thing. Uh, not for me, anyway. Because everything would turn so much fucking worse. Even if it was just, like, you know, any kind of fucking mental problem, like, I don't know, streaking or something like that, you know, running down the street nude 
or any stupid shit, right? That was, that's a mental disorder. That would involve me essentially being abused by mental health professionals for the rest of my life and being heavily abused and nobody coming to save me. And it's like, oh, gee whiz, has tempting as it is to do something stupid and crazy like that i'm gonna pass doesn't sound like something i you know would partake in if for no other reason at all i do not want uh to give my bureaucratic enemies the satisfaction of um of you know them essentially fulfilling what it is that they want to do, which is their sadistic pleasure of abusing something or someone. Uh, like, uh, well, yeah, like, uh, there are gooks out there with power that Justin Trudeau has enabled who come from countries where their country is poor, blah, blah, blah. They had a rough history, especially with white men, because white man's not in power right now. It, it is much in power right now. And, well, and just the, the mere sight of a white man, uh, especially if he likes upbeat KKK music, uh, you know, pleasant, uh, friendly demeanor KKK music, then, um, you know, uh, they shouldn't be in positions of power, really. In my humble opinion, I mean, they obviously don't have any good intentions and they, you know, have opinions over corrupt reasons. But, uh, you know, I'm kind of yabbering on here. But hey, uh, I've watched documentaries where they've been over an hour and they've talked about Jack Squat. They haven't talked about anything. And I talked about a bunch of things. So, like, fuck you if it isn't. Uh, you know, uh, scripted and rehearsed and all that kind of stuff. Fuck you. Uh, anyway, I guess I'll, um, yeah, I'm done with this video. I will be making more, and, you know, um, we're going to see how things turn out. Because um, this should be quite interesting to see what happens. Anyway, talk to you later.